Hello. Visual Studio 2026 Insider has been released a couple of days ago. It seems this version loves JSON and AI, especially GitHub Copilot, more than before. In this video, I want to have a look at these two type of concept features that I have mentioned. So let's go to Visual Studio Insider and see what we can do to clarify these two issues. Let's go. First of all, let's have a look at the IDE Visual Studio 2026 Insider and now let's start talking about how this new IDE deals with JSON okay let's go and have a JSON package very simple one Before releasing this new version of Visual Studio, if I wanted to convert something like this, a JSON package to C Sharp class, I had to use something like this. One of these type of online tools or something that accept my JSON package and convert it to something like this. But now, if I just copy the whole JSON and come back to Visual Studio, I can do this type of things very easy. Let's see. It is enough to just come here somewhere, somewhere in my IDE and go for edit, paste special, paste JSON as classes. See? It has been automatically done. This guy can be removed or I can comment it out. The rest is what I originally wanted. That's all. Finish. Easy. No need to have any third party type of tool, anything. Visual Studio does the job automatically. Even if I want to deal with XML, I can. Very easy. That's why I said Visual Studio loves JSON now. A little bit more than before. Okay. Enough. JSON is enough. Let's go for Copilot. Let me delete these guys and come back to Copilot. Okay. If I want to use Copilot, I can come here and say open chat window. I can delete the previous orders that I already tried. And then now I can say, for example, for example, at sign VS, this is something new. I want light temp. I can ask Visual Studio to do something for me. See? It gives me direction. It shows me what to do. Uh-huh. See? It brings me to when I, or, or the place that I wanted to go. If I don't know where to go, Copilot shows me what to do. This is one of the new features. The other one. The other one. I can say at sign profiler. How can I make the performance better? Pink. Let's see. The profiler would try to analyze your code, run it, 
and see how can you improve the performance for example I was asking about the performance okay actually it runs the code and sees what it can suggest so you can ask about uh, the security the performance whatever yeah see it runs my project and now gathering the info for me to let me know how can I have a better performance it takes some time no issue we should wait but I am warning you if the app was too big you should be careful or or I will show you wait if the app was big then you shouldn't just uh, suddenly go and say give me everything because it takes time or sometimes it cannot be completed it would be failed but as you can see it tries at mm, as much as an IDE can like this or for example I can ask how to have better security then again it, we, it would look at your code and start suggesting you like this see validate input use parameterized queries this type of things can you comment the good ones out in my code bing Sometimes it tries to correct your code, but as I asked, I don't want to change my code. I just said, comment it out for me. See? Whatever it suggests would be implemented, but as a comment. It doesn't touch my original code, as you can see, like this so we can say it is kind of pair programming also kind of like this if i wait it gives me more and more or if i insist on asking then i can make my code much better but my goal was just showing you what to do not do everything in front of your eyes so as you can see visual studio loves ai also more than before try your cases and share with me what you could do better thank you so much see you in the next videos